Okay, this is going to be a quick update on the status of the engraver project. Uh, so far, I'm, it's kind of working, but there are a number of problems that I'm attempting to kind of solve. I think all of these uh, relate to um, precision and accuracy, just uh, kind of correct alignment. I do have it uh, partially running, and it, um, it did just draw a kind of a circle with a pen clipped onto it. So I'm kind of optimistic about this. As you can see, there are a variety of different colours in here. I, the the grey started to behave a little peculiarly, so I switched over to some uh, samples I had from Faberdashery. Um, uh, some of those worked quite well. Um, that was a really nice print there, that's in a slightly silvery one. But uh, both of uh, these colours, um, and the, the green worked reasonably well. These colours uh, didn't perform particularly well for some reason. Uh, it's just what didn't flow very well. So it's uh, slightly annoying but uh, it, they came out good enough to prototype this. And I'll go into the more detail on this particular chunk uh, at another time. This is more just a, a quick kind of look at the overview. So this is currently running off a 12 volt bench power supply that's feeding directly into the motor controllers. The 5 volt supply for all the electronics uh, is coming from the computer and it's hooked up at the moment. That's kind of uh, the GBRL kind of status. Uh, so GRBL status data kind of passing back and forth and I'm just running that into a light kind of Mac client that's the, the universal g-code sender that allows me to kind of manually feed in commands as well as load in um, an actual g-code file and so I've been testing this manually I've also tried to as mentioned with the circle run through create a little uh, g-code file but, um, but yeah there are some problems so here we go with the movement This axis uh, is pretty good. It is sticking a little bit here, and so I am getting problems with missteps. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be able to replicate that. So when it works, this one's a really nice smooth motion. So that's working quite well there. I think some of this problem is due to the this particular shaft here is bent and it's wobbling and it's grinding, kind of putting too much stress on the motor just can't cope. So I think this one here I need to try and switch it out with another length of shaft that's hopefully going to be a little straighter. And um, there may be a similar problem with these ones over here. One of them is good, one of them's bad. And so what I found with everything kind of clamped in together, uh, this motor here would miss steps. It, um, this will carry on driving, but then it, it will just kind of stop. The steps would kind of start skipping through. And so the only way I could really solve that was to loosen off this bracket here so it, it's loose and it wobbles. Um, I think that is going to be down to alignment. It's, it's not perfect, and so it caused problems. And so I, I need to work out how to more accurately position these or maybe some kind of uh, rubberized mounting. But... Uh, Yes, it it does. Um, here we there is still a lot of noise on here. Um, again, I think it's probably going to be uh, grating and pressure in areas which I should be able to reduce. But other than that, it does function. I'm just going to feed in a the G code command now to draw a circle, and this performs a homing routine. It'll it moves down to here. Um, and then uh, it performs a circle and moves back. That's the homing routine done, I believe. Be the end of it. So it uh, moved into position, it drew the circle, and then it moved back again. And I'm really pleased, it, it effectively is working. Um, I don't have a separate power supply to strap the laser to, or anything kind of properly rigged up, but I could theoretically get this working 
now, um, but I do want to ideally want to solve some of the accuracy problems first. So I think the next steps for this project are just to try and uh, optimize the final design of some of these pieces. The I think the biggest issue at the moment is alignment of these shafts and getting it quite right. Um, to that end, I'm going to take a look at the uh, the motor kind of bracket I've designed up here and see if I can make any improvements to that to get the alignment kind of perfect. And I'm also going to try and get some new 5 mil threaded rod and see if I can uh, see, see if a straighter axis or axle does um, fix some of these things. 